Hello, hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to my channel. I hope we are all surviving and thriving whatever day it is that you are watching this. I wanted to talk about feeling lost when it seems like everyone else has it figured out or pivoting at a time in your life when you didn't really think that you'd be pivoting and things just kind of not going the way that you thought or not being on the path that you thought that you would be on because I think that that's something that wherever, whatever walk of life you are on, whatever path you are on, we can all relate to that. We have all felt lost and confused at times and especially with our phones and social media at our fingertips all the time and us having access to pretty much everyone in the world 24 seven. It's very easy to get in our heads and go online and compare ourselves to everyone because most people online seem like they have it all figured out and it's so easy for us to look at that and beat ourselves up over the fact that so and so has this figured out the x y and z all the things they have this and that and another thing and I feel like I'm behind and I feel like I'm not where I'm meant to be and I'm lost and I don't really know what I want to do with my life and I'm I mean, I'm 26 years old and I feel like I'm lost half the time. I go I go between knowing what I want to do and then being like, mm, I don't really know. And that's something that I think all of us kind of struggle with unless you're born with knowing exactly what your life's purpose is. And if that's the case, I'm highly jealous of you. And that's amazing. Good for you. But a lot of us aren't born knowing what we want to do. And honestly, a lot of us struggle trying to figure it out because we're told from a very young age that we can kind of be whatever we want to be which we can be whatever we want to be unless you want to be a serial killer don't know you can't be that but anyways that just got dark and twisted um but anyways from a young age we're always told that we can be whatever we want to be whatever we put our minds to we can achieve and then we're told that through what pre-k middle school elementary school and then you get into high school and it's like it's time to figure it the fuck out you gotta know what you want to be no one knows what they're gonna do with the rest of their lives when they're 18 years old when I was 17 I thought I'd I'm 26 right when I was 17 I thought I would be married with kids by now with like owning a home having my entire life figured out what's on you is that a rock in your fur Rosie sorry I have to get something out of the dog's fur. Rosie girl. Here we go. Hi, girlfriend. My dad. Um, I thought that I was going to have my entire life figured out by 26 when I was 17 years old, 16, 15 years old. And I don't. I don't have anything figured out like I thought I would. I mean, I'm at a good place in my life where I'm happy and I'm content with where I am and I'm surrounded by people who love me and all those things. So I don't really have a lot to complain about because I try to look at things from an optimistic point of view, regardless, have not always been that way. It is a fucking struggle sometimes too. But you know, I try, but I am 26 and I don't have anything figured out like I thought I would. And when we're in high school, we're told that we have to have all these things figured out and that we have to figure out what we want to do with our lives. It's okay. She's freaking out because my sister just left. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we're told that we need to figure out what we want to do when we're 17, 18 years old. And we don't even know who we are as people. And honestly, I feel like we don't even, like, we change constantly all the time. So, like, who we are, who you were last year isn't who you are right now. Who you were six months ago is not who you are right now. We're constantly changing. We're constantly evolving. And I think that plays a huge factor. I don't want you to hit your head on the table. Um, I think that plays a huge factor in us feeling like we're lost sometimes and feeling like we're confused sometimes and feeling like everyone else has it figured out but us. But the majority of people on social media may seem like they have it figured out, but some of them don't. I'm going to argue a lot of them don't because most people don't post the confusing times and the lost times because that's not things that I guess people want to talk about, even though it's so freaking relatable that whatever point you are in your life, even if it seems like to you that you don't have any time left or you should have everything figured out by now or you're lost or it's this and it's that, I promise you, you still have 
so much time in your life to find the career that you love, open up that business if you want to, start that family, find the love of your life, travel. Like we are put in a box by not only ourselves because we do put ourselves in boxes and that is put on us through conditioning from our upbringing, from family, peers, society, you name it. We have all of these things thrown at us our entire lives, putting us in a box, telling us what we have to do, who we have to be, how we have to have it all figured out by and if we don't have things figured out by this timeline that society throws at us, we get in our heads. And even if we have some of the things figured out on those timelines, but not all of them, we still get in our heads. We have, I think as humans, we have a perpetual fear of not doing it right or not, or missing the opportunity or missing the life we could have had. And even if it seems like to you that you don't have a passion or that you don't have a purpose, hi babe. Hi, pretty girl. Even if it seems like to you, you don't have a passion or a purpose or you have no idea what you want to do with your life, it's not too late to figure that out. And I promise you that we all do have a purpose. None of us are put on this earth by accident. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't think that, and I don't think that anything happens for no reason. I think that everything has a reason behind it. And you can disagree with me all you want. What are you trying to do? <laughs> you want belly rubs? Okay. Um, even if it seems like to you that you are on this path that is not going where you want it to go, you have no idea how things can intertwine into your life in a way that you never saw it coming and that you never expected. And we all have this path and this purpose because none of us are here by accident. None of us reincarnated in this lifetime during this time on accident your soul has a purpose even if your mind hasn't figured it out yet but this is gonna sound so cliche and so corny but like let your soul lead the way and like see where it takes you and see what lights you up and sets your soul on fire and chase things that you're passionate about and find the things that you love because we are here for such a short amount of time even though we all think that Tomorrow is promised, but it's not. There's no guarantee that we're going to wake up tomorrow. The only guarantees that we have in life are change and death. And that sounds a little morbid, I know, but they are the two only guarantees that we have in this life. And with life always constantly changing, it plays the role in why we feel like we're lost sometimes and why we feel like we're behind because things are constantly changing that we don't really have a lot of control over. And as humans, we try to control a lot and there's a lot of uncontrollable var variables that are happening all the time around us. And being able to take a step back sometimes and remind yourself that even if you aren't where you want to be yet, you still have time to get there. You still have time to figure it out. We're like, we're told that in our 20s, this is the time to make mistakes and this is the time to figure it out and all these things. And I'm gonna argue that you don't only have to do it in your 20s. You can figure it out in your 30s. You can figure it out in your 40s. You can start all over again anytime you want. You can have you 2.0, 3.0, 5.0, you point 10.0, like, you know what I mean you can reinvent yourself and you can pivot and you can do all these incredible, amazing things as many times as you want in your life. You can change into as many versions of you as you want, no matter how lost or confused you feel now. If you want to, if you have a million different passions that you want to try, try them because you never know what one decision could impact you for the rest of your life and change the entire, entire trajectory of your life in such an incredible way. And I know it sounds like that, I'm like, oh, preaching this and all positivity, blah, blah. I know that shit happens in life sometimes and that life sucks and it gets the better of us. And I'm not ignoring the fact that life has negative aspects by any means. That's the duality of being alive right now. We have the negative and the positive and we are in the negative feelings when we have them. Trust me, I get it. Life throws fucking curveballs at us sometimes that we don't expect coming and it gets the better of us. I am living in a curveball of a life scenario right now that is probably the biggest plot twist of my life that I didn't see coming. And it sucks, but I'm looking at it from the best perspective that I can and I'm honoring my emotions come up as they do, but allowing yourself to 
not, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, think positively all the time because I know that life fucking sucks sometimes and it gets the better of us and we can feel lost and confused and sad. And if you're feeling any of those things, that's okay. There, not, there's nothing wrong with not being okay sometimes. There's nothing wrong, I know, I know. You're really anxious, it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby girl, I know. Good girl. Sorry, she's very anxious. We feel lost and confused and sad sometimes and we try to push those things down but honor the emotions that come up. But just know that if you feel like you are lost right now or if you feel like you are behind in life or you missed your opportunity or it's not gonna happen for you, just trust in the process. Know that everyone gets lost sometimes. Things. Anything that is meant for you will never pass you by. So an opportunity, if you think you missed it, if it's truly meant to be yours, you'll never miss it. Take chances, follow the things that set your soul on fire and don't ever compare yourself to the people that seem to have it all figured out on social media because I promise you, they don't. We all struggle, no matter how much of us think that we have it figured out. We have the days where everything's magically coming together and then we have the days where it seems like everything's falling apart and both are completely fine and completely acceptable. Give yourself grace if you're feeling a little lost and know that you're not alone and that you still have time to accomplish everything you want to in your life. And you are here for a reason and whether you know your purpose now or not, follow what sets your soul on fire and that purpose will come to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.